last time on Plane Striders. I think we're late. That's fair. Very yeah, yeah, much you so. Don't say. Chris, um, is there any ghosts around? May the wings of freedom lift you aloft. And the light of the Voyager guide your way. At your service. Do you think that I don't know? We don't have to go. Faust does not speak for us. A star, a bright star, suddenly, brilliant, a ball of light that extends outward, holding the dawn, a supernova. Flash across the sky as the supernova spreads in a brilliant array of lights, tracing fingers like cracks reaching across the dome of the sky, like blood seeping into the very panes of the heavens as the colors seep in a brilliant and beautiful array of light. Faust, standing on the deck, the orphans oasis flash of light the scene right takes you somewhere else for a moment and then you're back on the deck of the ship and then again back and forth back and forth back and forth until the two realities blend into each other and find yourself standing in a memory an empty plane stretches around you sand and ash like snow falls from the sky raining down and a brilliant light basks all around you. The palpable energy in the air that's electric and feels like you are swimming in raw magic and power. Above you, painted on the sky, a scene like this. The fingers of what appears to be a supernova threading outward like cracks on a dome across the sky, framed by a brilliant glow of light that shines so bright that the very two suns that hang in the sky behind it seem pale and small and let your eye and yet your eyes cut through the brilliant rays as if they know them as if they are familiar and you see clearly as this glow spreads across the sky you find yourself once again standing on the deck of the orphan's oasis staring at this scene and you know you have seen it before. Eltheliac and the Orion. The death of a god. <sighs> I've had a deal. Faust. Where are Khaleesi and Kress? I don't know, I thought they were here. We need to leave now. Okay, um, I cast dancing lights up at the sky, shooting one, two, and three red bursts of light. Bursts dance across the sky, exploding into the air. Cress, give me a perception check. Nineteen. Nineteen. You see, out of the corner of your eye, it grabs your attention. A burst of light in the air, like fireworks. And you've seen them before. You know this signal. It's a Venadiel calling you back to the ship. Cleesa, we gotta get home now. But, 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 but what about the Fae? We can't worry about the Fae until we get back together with Aven and Faust. We gotta get back to the ship. Right. We can't help from here. We gotta go. Okay. Um, uh, action dash. We're booking it to the ship. Two of you running back. Uh, your legs feel wooden and slow. They're not carrying you fast enough. The sense of urgency rises all around you, and your legs carrying you seem to do so little. I need an athletics check from each of you <laughs> for an all-out breakout run. Are you gonna <laughs> screw me again? <laughs> It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Actually, um, I'm going to, because it seems so urgent, I'm going to expel one of my uh, infusion charges from the Armor of Magical Strength and I'm gonna use my strength modifier, uh, my intelli intelligence modifiers that are my strength modifier. I have five more charges of that. Got it. And I'm glad I did that, uh, because the total will be 14. 14. Plus seven. <laughs> That's 19. Cress, you find a well of energy inside of you that surprises you, perhaps not given circumstances, as you dash all out, 
madly, threading your way through a forest of mushrooms that once their pale luminescent glow would have humored you, tickled your fancy just a little bit, something amusing about it. Now, they seemed daunting, haunting in the flashes of light from the sky above, growing brighter by the moment their shadows grow long all around you and dance off of Kalisa's face as uh, she dashes alongside you and something about them seems ominous, haunting. And then a presence behind you, building stronger. Oh, Arcana. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Eight. You cannot identify what it is, but it leaves you with an unsettling feeling that twists knots into your stomach, and it grows stronger by the moment as the hairs on the back of your neck begin to stand on end. Uh, Cress? W- w- what's there? I don't know, but we gotta keep going. We gotta keep running. Okay. Um, do, do we look back? No. Do not look back. Avenidio, from the crow's nest of the Orphan's Oasis, give me an investigation check. Okay. Three. Three. The flashing of the lights almost seems to blind you, and the dancing of shadows all mixed together, and you cannot make head or tail of the terrain around you, and you cannot spot your lost companions. Faust, I, I can't see him. Um, do you know what's going on? Unfortunately, yes, I've seen this happen before. We need to get out of here now. Okay. I will crawl down from the crow's nest and then take my bow off my back and load an arrow and just look out at the terrain. Would I know how long until whatever happened impacts us? Roll knowledge history check at advantage. Hmm. It's going to be a 10 total. You don't remember precisely how long, but you do have a recollection that this process did at least take hours. You have time, but it's waning quickly. We are not in immediate danger, but we need to move fast. We only have hours left until that impacts us. And if it does, we will not be here anymore. Okay. So we need to get the two, and we need to get anybody on the island off. We need to get the two, and we need to get off. You're just going to kill all these people? It is not us killing us, them. I have a responsibility for my family, and they are the ones who I will save. I go back to looking for Cress and Kalisa, wordlessly. Cress, Kalisa, dashing still, all out, pushing, taxing yourself to your very limit. I need another athletics trick. Um, 24. <laughs> um, as uh, Kalisa keeps running, her armor starts to fill with golden glow as it absorbs around her arms and legs and she just keeps booking it forward. Cress. Nine. Kalisa, as you are barreling along, Cress begins to slow alongside you. With a 24, I will let this surge of energy that is charging your armor allow you to scoop her up and carry her with you as you just drag her like her feet kicking on the ground for a second. Uh, Feel free to protest if you want. No, as she does, <laughs> no. she's going to cling to your shoulder, and as I am kind of floating in midair, I'm going to turn around to see what's behind us. I was going to say, Kalisa's also going to turn around to see what's don't behind us. Don't turn around while you're running. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> yes. As, as Kalisa oh, as, as no. spins around to to grab Cress, she's going to take a glance because she's fucking curious to see what the hell is this thing behind them. Give me an acrobatics, dexterity check, or an athletics check. Uh, oh, no. It, would, the, would it be another charge, or can I use the 24? No. Okay. You have to roll again. Okay. Mm. Uh, you know, I'll do acrobatics for this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Good move. Um, 25. Oh, oh no. That's apologizing. Oh, Thank you. I love you, buddy. <laughs> wow. Hey, Misty Bum Gaming. Oh, Thanks. <laughs> As you turn and glance over your shoulder, you almost feel sense a large rock in front of your foot that is uh, racing towards, and uh, you raise it up and pass over it easily, and then leap over the fallen trunk of a large mushroom uh, as you glance behind you. Cress, give me an investigation check. Kalisa, as you stare behind you at the dancing shadows from the lights, you cannot make head or tails of anything. 
left one. It's a nat 20. <laughs> I rolled a nat 20. <laughs> <laughs> what what horror do I see? <laughs> Total is a 24. 24. <laughs> you glance behind you for a second. You see it. Far away in the distance. Flickers. Flits. Shadows. Shapes. Mirages. Flitting between and through the shadows all around. Ghosts. Dozens of ghosts darting around like fish frightened in a barrel. Kalisa? What's there? Do you, do you see those? What, what do I see? Uh, behind you, just shadows and dancing lights. It's, 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 it's a lot of lights. That's not a lot of lights. That's not good. You're scaring me. We gotta keep going. Okay. And as her eyes just dart around, has she seen this many ghosts like this before? You've seen this many ghosts before, but that you would only see this many ghosts in like a very large cemetery or a place or a battlefield or where, or where a huge tra- tragedy struck. And they certainly wouldn't be behaving like this. This is exceptionally erratic behavior for them. Please, I see a, a sea of ghosts and they're not behaving like normal. I don't know what this is. What is the normal behavior of a ghost? Not this. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) All right. How far away are we from the ship at this point? Because we keep booking. Uh, The ship is now in view. Okay. It's, it's said some like lights or something. They need to be, they need to see us here. You're right. I'm going to reach up and uh, cast uh, dancing lights as well. Three purple lights that I shoot up into the air. Roll investigation at advantage. Ten. Uh, you catch them just barely, a small prick of purple light almost hidden by the flash between two shadows. But you see it. Faust, they're here. Thank you. I'm going back down, and we're going to get some people. Broke persuasion. <laughs> <laughs> just direct, Damn. not even a lot of persuading You're there. Just one. Woo! That is a 24. Fine. We can go down, and we can get as many as you can grab, but if it comes to it, I will not risk any of your lives. The moment I think we need to leave, we are leaving, and there is no argument on that. Do you understand? Open the cargo bay, and I will... <laughs> Find the nearest ladder and shimmy down, uh, dropping down to the floor and booking it towards the Fey Village. Can I by myself move the ship to hover over the village? Easily. Easily. Okay, I'm gonna do that. I'm going to try and find these two on my way to the Fey Village. Roll another investigation check. I'm so bad at investigation. And yet you keep looking for things. Eleven. I don't know. Yeah. You don't find Ooh. them. You want to roll me an investigation check to see if you can find her instead? I would love great. to do I so. I can't investigate for shit. I have plus seven to investigation. Uh, that'd be an 18. An 18. Uh, you spot a vanity looking for you. A vanity! Great. Cress, I'm going to go back to get to the Fey Village. I'm going <gasps> to grab as many people as we can. Okay, good. One of you should go back with Faust. The other I'm taking with me. Is that okay? I'll go back to Faust. He may need me to navigate. Okay. Kalisa, we're getting as many people as possible. We're getting off of this place. You got it. Okay. All right, uh, the two of you dash off towards the village that you can see has already erupted in pandemonium. Uh, and Cress, as you approach the ship, a figure darts past you. For a second, you think it is a person, then you realize, transparent, it passes right through the trunk of a large plant. And then another. Shit. How far from the ship am I at this point? About a one minute run. I am just running past people if I need to. Through them if I need to. Well, they're ghosts, so you can do that. Exactly. Oh, that feels terrible. All of them are ghosts. Oh, yeah. I feel horrific as I'm running. As you overtake a particularly large, burly-looking ghost, it stops and glances at you. Did you see what happened back then? No, what what happened? The graveyard. But what about the what about the graveyard? What do you mean? I have to go. No, wait. <laughs> Shit. I'm gonna try and stop somebody else as they're running past me. Anybody that looks like they may be easier to talk to. 
Okay, roll insight to see Great. if you can <laughs> ascertain <laughs> which mask. ghost is most approachable under these circumstances. The I can do that for you, Captain. <laughs> roll insight on the massive amount of ghosts. That's a 12. A 12. <laughs> uh, you could say this is a bit of a shot in the dark. <laughs> I will grab literally the nearest ghost and try and get their attention. Uh, okay. <laughs> What's happening? What happened to the graveyard? <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. She runs away. <laughs> Shit. <sighs> I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna try a couple more ghosts and if they don't listen to me, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna try it. If there's anybody a little calmer <laughs> that's right past me, I'm gonna try and just, hey. What's happening? What happened in the graveyard? The ghost of a tiefling pauses in front of you, and their eyes narrow, and then they dart around fearfully. Oh. Persuasion. <laughs> You're charismatic. You can do this. I have a plus five. Okay. I should be okay. Not no. when you roll a two. <laughs> <laughs> That's a seven. Oh, God. Hmm. Tiefling stares at you for a second. Oh, boy. What happened in the graveyard? Fuck you, figure out shit. Fuck a, you too! That's a perfect six. <laughs> Glancing around, it seems as if all the ghosts have passed. You now stand alone. Fuck. All right. To the ship, I'll figure this out later. I'm gonna dart towards the ship. All right, yeah, the, are the cargo bays open? Yeah. Okay, so you dart right through the open cargo bay doors and you find yourself on the lower deck of the Orphan's Oasis. I want to hit the nearest um, intercom button. Crest to the ship, crest to the ship. Faust, are you on deck? Captain to ship, I'm on deck. We are moving. Where do you need me? Captain to ship, I need you up here with me in the navigation. We're going to move it over the village. Understood, I'm on my way. As the two of you do so, uh, Cress, roll knowledge history for me. Uh, that would be a 13. It'd be really nice if you could remember something useful right now. Yeah, that's <laughs> super valid. <laughs> It'd be really nice if I could roll above a 10. Back to the two being useful. Great. Yay! Uh, as the two of you burst into the village, you see many of them slamming their doors and shutters. You hear some of them banging as apparently they're boarding them up from the inside. You see Sauron prancing about, uh, barking directions to everyone to take cover. We're gonna... Sauron? Avenadil? Why are you here? I thought I just told you to leave. Sauron, we're here to help you. You you have to understand. Now isn't really the time. I have I my know hands it's full. Not. Sauron, trust me. I know you have your hands full. We need, you need to leave right now. Roll persuasion at disadvantage. Okay, I know. She does not like you right now. I believe that. Okay, that's a 15 at disadvantage. It's not bad at disadvantage. What are you going to do to help? You need to leave this island. We can help you get off. We would need you to help and get as many people, as many of your people on the boat as possible. On your boat? Yes, yeah. on our ship. We need to get down to the shore? Uh, Not I, quite. Is, uh, Faust is gonna bring it here? On land? Uh, yeah, um, long, it's a spaceship. It, please ignore that. Uh, just don't, no, shit. Uh, Don't ignore it. Um, just you gotta trust me. I promise. Just sorry. please get to the point. I want to. I want people to stay alive. And if anybody stays here too long, they're gonna hurt. They're gonna get hurt. And anybody on this island, when that hits, what makes you think it's coming for us? It it explodes in a circle. It's going to get. It's gonna hit everything. We're gonna need to get out of this system. Roll persuasion. Okay. Seventeen. Fine, I'll grab every, grab everyone willing. Uh, I'll try my best. Thank you. Please just keep Faust out of everyone's sight because I really don't think that will motivate them. I definitely agree. Um, we're on the same page here. I will tell Faust to stay in the control deck. We have the we're gonna have the cargo bay doors open so everybody can get inside. They can get down. They can get to a safe place, and then. As you're saying this, a particularly large shadow passes over top of you. <laughs> They're here. That's yeah. The hulking body of the ship hangs suspended in the air on its deck, proudly displayed. The solar sails unfurled, um, casting dancing 
lights reflecting off of its shimmering surface, uh, sending dancing rays off the roofs of the building all around it as the light from the supernova diffuses from it, casting all over the place, and also seems to be absorbed and drawn into it. And standing, thrust over the bow ominously, the head of the cannon, the front of the ship. Loudspeakers blare out, booming over the village. This is Faust Moshinar, captain of the Orphan's Oasis. A god has died. Anyone on this island in the next couple hours will be dead as well. Get on the ship, prioritize those who have technical abilities. Kalisa, get on here immediately and get it ready to move. And with that, I, from the open cargo bay, several ropes drop down. Oh, okay, um, uh, b- before I go, uh, s- uh, spread the spread four of these around the village, and Kalisa takes out uh, four little boxes. Um, that that should uh, provide the message to the villagers to make sure that we're not here to, you know, eat them or something. <laughs> and then Kalisa books it up to uh, books it up to the boat. Oh, uh, and tell uh, Faust to stay in the control room, please, uh, and to not say his name over the loudspeakers again. again. Yeah, got it. Thank you. Your conversation is barely audible over the roar of the thrusters high above you, which send a gush of warm air across, clearing the field beneath as any dust and debris and uh, leaves and small and things, or even uh, a, a, a pail of water gets cast about like a helicopter's like air just. Saren? These are going to leave a message here. If we leave them on the ground, they will relay this message to a message of safety to anybody that reads them. Where can we put them that would be best? I don't know. You find a place. I'm gonna, I need, I need to gather everyone. Okay, you gather, get them on the ship. I will spread these out and I will go towards the, towards the outskirts of the village. She gallops off. I will move towards the farthest, not farthest, but I'll move towards the outskirts of the village to leave a box in each of the four cardinal directions. All right. Uh, as you are doing so, Kalisa, you have reached the bridge of the ship. Kalisa hops over the railing and quickly runs up to the upper deck intercom and hits it. Faust! Fa- Faust! Faust, where are you? Captain, to ship? I am not going anywhere. I am in the bridge. Yeah, uh, <laughs> if, if any of you will ask you to stay in the captain's chair while, while we're going to try to get them out, okay? Understood. Thank you. You're great. And then Kalisa's gonna run down to the engine room. All right, you dart below deck of Edendale. You finished placing all of uh, your pebbles. Kalisa, can you describe to me how these stones work? Yes, uh, little boxes, little mechanical boxes. As soon as the last box is placed somewhere around the village, a big projection of letters. I can project up to 25 words of a message with a magical tinkering to four of these boxes at a time. And basically it says in big letters in common, ship is safe, the wave is coming, it will destroy everything, get to the ship. All right, those lights appear in the sky, hovering above the village. Cress, you are helping uh, draw up uh, many of the Fey who are clambering up these ropes, many many of them, uh, some of the satyrs are helping tie them to the ropes so that you can hoist up, or some of the other Fey who've climbed up can help hoist them up. You still see uh, Sauren prancing about, checking every home, banging on every door, urgently calling out. Venadil, you make it back underneath the ship. It appears everyone but Sauren is now on board. Sauren? How can I get you on board? She looks down at her hooves. I could tie you and then, uh, I could tie you up and then help try and lift you in from inside. I know, I want you to be safe. She hesitates. I I can't find Javici. Or, or her owlbear. Okay, um, do you want to come with me? I'm going to go look for him. And also Lionel, Prince, no relation to royalty. (sighs) Yeah, um. He, he might be with them. Possibly. Uh, okay. Um, give me just a moment. And I will turn towards the ship. Do Am I within 120 feet of either yes. of these? Okay. I will message Faust. Yeah, you know where I'm at. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to find the owl bear and its owner, and hopefully Lionel, I'm with Sauron. Please do not leave without me. 
Unless you need to, if you need to, leave without me. It, no! Don't tell Kalisa. I will. <laughs> I will respond. We do not have time for this. Get on the ship. He will not hear an answer. I'm... And just for anyone in the bridge, we'll just see Faust just slam his hand on the uh, arm of his chair. All right, those lights appear in the sky, hovering above the village of Vendale. You and Sao Ren plunge into the darkness. The mushrooms clustered around the village. Chivichi! 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 Bear Owl! Lionel? Roll investigation. Why? <laughs> Why? You keep looking for things. <laughs> Why? Someone else needs to look for things. Okay, fine. It's a 15 minus 1 for a 14. <laughs> a 14. Um, you are able to navigate your way back to their abode, not far outside the village, but as you uh, scour all around it, you cannot find their track. They are not there. Sauron, do you have any idea where they may have gone? I, I don't know. Um, uh, but if she's, if Chivichi's riding Bear Owl, um, they can cover a lot of distance really fast. Do you think they might have gone over to the Herringon village? Um, it's probably the safest place in the island, so, uh, I would, um, yeah, I don't think there's anywhere else that it would make sense for them to go. We'll go back to the ship, and then we'll have Faust take us over to the Herringon village, and we'll get as many of them as possible, and also look for Chivichi and Bear Owl, and hopefully, Lionel. Thank you. And I will turn and run back to the ship, and as soon as I am within range to cast message again, I will message Faust. Faust, I'm bringing Salrin. We're going to the Herringon village, and we're going to get Judici as well as any of them left. No persuasion. Oh! 25. Fine, but we will make it fast. Salrin, they're going to get us over there. And I book it back towards the ship with Sauron in tow. In an alternate universe where the Plane Striders are not space pirates, but instead struggling artists with bills to pay and high production costs. The best exfoliant for radiant rolls. Misty Mountain Gaming Dice. Oh yeah. And now, my fellow crewmates, back to our beloved space pirates and their misadventures. Some minutes later, the ship flying through the air, thrusters are plunging. Um, hovers above the Herringon village, which is already a burst in um, them hopping, bouncing and running and scattering about, darting between buildings, uh, boarding them up. Some are gathered in a square and appear to be chanting something in the town square and shouts and points up at the ship and confusion and pandemonium beneath you. Someone chucks a hoe like a spear <laughs> at the hall. Don't you dare. Just, no. Do they roll a natural no. 20? <laughs> they roll a natural 20. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. No one is yeah, the yeah. ship. <laughs> so we now have a hoe attached to our ship. Them. All right. So I am going to say that the hoe wedges in between one of the gaps in the panels that you did not fully install. Because <laughs> I we didn't expect to fly anytime soon. Yes. <laughs> it's going to be slightly less aerodynamic. Air ho dynamic. I would say that was a <laughs> ho rubble pun. Kalisa. Deep in the bowels of the ship on the fourth deck, um, uh, uh, hunched over the panels that you hurriedly assembled before uh, leaving today, you now see a gap opened and a little prong of wood sticks between, wedged. On the intercom. Faust? Yes? What was that? Unimportant. How are you making progress in getting the ship ready to move? Um, 
Do you want the bad news or the bad, bad news? Wait, g- g- give me a second. Um, Kalisa gets off of the intercom and then uh, goes directly to OA. Uh, OA, uh, current status of the thrusters and the ability to jump to light speed. Uh, thrusters all online. Light speed? Ability? Light speed capability online. Uh, Quick diagnostics of the hall reveals there are inconsistencies. <laughs> I know, I promise I'll take care of it later, um, but uh, ability to jump to light speed within the coming hour. There's a long pause. <laughs> OA? Um, I cannot approve a jump to light speed when the hall is compromised. OA, if I'm gonna mend it right now, we'll be able to jump to light speed. Is there, are there any other issues that are gonna prevent us from doing that? Future projection, if hall is secure, hall is ready. Right, prepare, prepare to light speed. Uh, I'm gonna get the, I'm, I'm gonna take care of this. Um, and Kalisa's gonna start uh, booking it to the upper deck so she can try to hang down and try to mend it. All right, uh, as you dash up onto the deck, uh, you hear the intercom chirp, preparing for light speed and the masts on the ship begin to fold inward, the sails fold Inward sliding upward and then rotate parallel with the mast, which then begins to collapse on a hydraulic system to become level with the deck as you f- firmly lash yourself to the rail and then dive over the edge. Give me an athletics check. All right. Um, Athlete. Uh, 17. Ooh, 17. Nice. Uh, you leap off in your boots, firmly planted <laughs> against the side of the ship, and you find yourself almost exactly where you needed to be. Great! What? Who? Uh, <laughs> Kalisa is she's gonna try to yank the hoe out of the ship and try to try to mend it as fast as possible. Give me a strength athletics check. <laughs> Do I need to beat a 20? I'm expecting I'm to get charged to this. <laughs> <laughs> armor of magical strength! Yep. We need an armor um, of magical strength button for you. 14? It breaks. Is it still like embedded in? Oh it? yes, it's still lodged in. Uh, li- uh, slivers of wood sticking out. It just broke off right near. Are you kidding me? <clears throat> and we're, we're here to save them. We're here to save them. We're here to save them. Um, and as Kalisa's doing that, uh, I would like to ask if it's possible for me to just mend a part of the hole just directly into the ship and just like cover it up and like cut out the rest of it off instead of trying to yank it out. You mean like make it a part of the ship? Yep. Roll me an intelligence check. (laughs) (laughs) I can do that, right? I can. Not if it's like in. No, you cannot. (laughs) So that's an at one. An at one. You know what? Considering the urgency, it seems like a good idea. (laughs) Yay! I'm gonna say it's not a good idea. I don't know why. Oh no. So I'm gonna proceed (laughs) with uh, repairing the ship as much as possible with the current situation using the mending cantrip. So Kalisa's just actually perfect timing. She's she's throwing on the 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 protective goggles and she's gonna start start to mend the hoe. All right. uh, As you are finishing up that task, anybody else doing anything? Yes, I'm doing something. Cress, I need your help. The Heron gun like you, and I may need your help to convince to get them on the ship. Will you come with me? Has Faust cleared us to go? Yes. All right, but let's make it real fast. Okay, come with me. All right. I swing over the ladder and descend towards the ground. As you land on the ground, roll me an intelligence check. You got this. You got this. I'm intelligent. Six. Six. (gasps) You have mine. Seems you get the feeling that there's probably a better way to do this. Oh? And that you should mull that over. To do what specifically? Then get all the to get all the herring gun on the ship by climbing ropes. A few at a time. Halfway down the ladder I pause and then start climbing back up to the top deck and then find the nearest intercom. I'm gonna deal to Faust, I'm gonna deal to main control deck. Faust see you there. Captain speaking, yes. Can you land the ship and open the cargo bay door so we can just walk on instead of climbing ropes? Affirmative. Thank you. Uh, as you oh. as you release the intercom, roll me another intelligence check. Ah, why are you like this? Okay, 
17. You suddenly remember that you can cast message. <laughs> yeah. I knew that. Um, it's a stressful situation. <laughs> it's a stressful situation. You suddenly remember. <laughs> um, uh, another thing to suddenly remember isn't Kalisa like on the bottom yeah. of the ship right now well, she's as we're side. landing? Well, you're on the side. Yeah. Oh, well, okay. fair enough. Like well, okay, yeah. so the whole one to the side, not to the. Okay, good. Uh, you're in between. What, what, that that'll come up. Uh, fuck! Oh. Uh, I'm just gonna put. I, she's on the other side of the ship from me, so I didn't see her. Great. Uh, <laughs> I say confidently. When well, you climb on the hall of the ship, there's probably something you should communicate in the future. Yeah, that's probably. But anyway, let's yeah. find out how this plays out. <laughs> great, 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 great. Uh, we're fine. <laughs> no, we're not. Uh, Faust, give me a space vehicles handling check. That's a 22. Oh, yeah. 22. All right. The ship lowers gently, smoothly, even into the town square, crushing a small fountain. That's fine. I, thought I, I, I thought you were going to say crushing I a small also child. Person. I thought you were going to say crushing a small New ghost for me to talk to. But also, when you were saying <laughs> that, the, that you remember <laughs> no. something for intelligence check, I thought you were going to say, you remember that the crowd of Herringon are directly below the ship. <laughs> I was like, oh no. No, as the ship descended, they definitely moved, hauled their asses right. out of the they way. Thank oh, you. thank God. No, they hopped oh. their asses out of the way. Because it's a hole of the ship. They yeah, they threw a hole they towards the hole of the ship. They their asses out? <laughs> Anyways. Anyway, that, that, uh, <laughs> I wait until the ship is safely <laughs> landed. Speaking of the ship being safely landed, Kalisa, I need an <gasps> athletics check. Oh God, um, Kalisa starts seeing the, the ship descend. F- Faust! <laughs> what, is, what is it with you? I'm expending a charge. What 14. Is 14. Uh, you're able to clamber up uh, and get just high enough that you are not in danger as the ship settles. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> uh, Kalisa casts a message. Faust! Um, please w- warn me when the ship lowers next time. Why do they need to warn you? I was outside the ship. I think it would be more pertinent for you to warn me of that first. <laughs> that is a good point. I did not think of that. Um, I'm going to be in the engine room. Regardless, I'll be ready to move. Um, mostly. I have to check just one more thing. Yes. All right. Let's right. scramble. On the ship. I presume the the whole situation is able to be like covered up by now. Oh, what do I roll? I mean, as far as you could tell, it seemed like what you did worked. Okay. Yay. Fair we're gonna have a we're gonna have an envelope of air. We're gonna be fine. Uh, okay. With uh, Kalisa's gonna start again from the top deck. She's gonna make her way to the, to the engine room. All right. As you make your way below deck to the engine. room. So before I go down to join a Venadiel, I'd like to swing into the bridge to talk to Faust for a moment. All right. Uh, as you swing open the sliding door to the bridge of the ship, you are greeted by the sight of Faust sitting upon the captain's chair. Before him, three other chairs sit a little bit lower, and panels stretch all around to the front of the room. And from what the outside of the ship had appeared to be purely hall, instead you see a window that looks outward, and you can see the Herringon village beneath you spread out below as if you are staring through a one-way mirror. The blinking and flashing lights of the control panels illuminate the grooves and crevices of Faust's frown. Faust, did you clear us to go down and get them? Unfortunately, yes, but we need to hurry. Get as many on as possible, as quick as possible, and then we are leaving. How fast are we looking to leave? Faust looks at his watch, wearing on his wrist, pulls out the thing. How much time has passed? 30 minutes. 15 minutes. Uh, are we looking to light speed out here, or are you going to need me to help? If we travel at light speed, we should be more able to escape more than enough time. I appreciate your help, but the unpredictability is not what we need right now. Understandable. All right, I'm going to go help. Uh, let me know if you need us back faster, and I'm going to mind link I with I need him. you back faster. I cannot go if that's what you prefer. If you're going with help, 
then hurry. All right. And I'm going to mind link, uh, and you know, in case you need to tell me anything Thank quickly. You. So as she spins on her heels to go back out and help Aven, she takes her hand off of the pouch that she had just been unlatching, and she quickly snaps it back together and leaves to help Aven. Below. In the Herringon village. Uh, navigating your way through the streets, you find yourself in front of the town hall. Here, you know you will find Hospital, the mayor. Person you will need to clear with. Person who has jurisdiction to decide. The person I definitely like just uh, insulted. Okay. Uh, I knock on the door three times very loudly. No answer, but inside you hear a bustling and a banging, a clash. Hospitella! A loud clang reverberates against the door, which thunks. Roll an investigation check. Okay. Eleven. Eleven. Your best guess, someone just threw a frying pan at the door. <laughs> I open the door. Roll a deck save. Great <laughs> God! I can do that! I can do that! I'm a rogue! Rogues are okay. Mm. <laughs> Thirteen. <laughs> Rogues are okay. <laughs> a fly. Uh, an, another pan narrowly misses, whizzing over your head. I'm not trying to hurt you, love. Sorry. Um, Hospitella. Um, is, is it Hospitella? Hospitella turns, glaring at you. What do you want? I'm trying to help you. It doesn't seem like you're helping me. It seems like you're interrupting. Interrupting you throwing frying pans at your door? Interrupting me trying to find uh, my book, which outlines specific and very immaculately contrived um, uh, um, procedures to follow in times of crisis. I need it. I have a time of crisis. I have a procedure. A god has died. There is a supernova. It is coming for us. We can get you and the rest of the villagers out of this system on our ship but we need you, I need to clear it with you, and you need to tell all of your people to come with us. I don't know what in the nine hells you're talking about, but this does not sound like something that has been properly cleared through legislation. She you're says, the legislation! Some paper under your nose. You're, you're the legislation, Hospitella. That's not how power works, that is abuse of power. No, it's not abuse of power when your entire village is gonna die if you don't do something about it. Well, persuade. Come on, come on, come on. 15. Let me find Mech. I'll think about it. I'll go with you. Please. No, I have something better. Regardless of the outcome, gather everyone in the town square. Okay. It occurs to you in this moment that the town square is occupied. <laughs> oh, um, I can gather them. It'll be incredibly convenient, uh, but there is also a ship in the town square. What? Uh, I kind of just gesture towards the open door behind me, and you can see, like, the curve of the hull slightly through the door frame. She pe uh, tips out and peers. Who parked a pirate ship in my town square? <laughs> Greetings and salutations, one and all. Today, today we have a tough one. Today we're talking about the big three scary letters, OGL. And what D20 Tales is doing about it. Now, I'm not gonna tell you how to feel about it. I'm not gonna tell you what to do about it. Plenty of people out there are doing that already. Not my race, not what we came here to do. It's not what we're about. No shade against anyone who does, but you didn't come here for us to tell you how you should feel, how you should think, or what you should do. But as someone who supports us and watches our content, we have a responsibility to you to set an example based on our best principles. So, we will no longer be playing 5e. Now. Obviously, season one was recorded already, all at once. So we will finish airing season one as 5e, and then 
we're going to be having a hell of a crunch to switch season two over and then record all of season two and then forward in Pathfinder. Thankfully, the Pathfinder community has had a huge outpouring and has been massively instrumental in helping us make that switch and transfer. So thank you to everyone who's been throwing your weight behind that. Um, it's really speeding up the process and helping us find our way because we are floundering in the dark. Back to our community. All of you who've been supporting us. You don't have to feel bad if you're still playing 5e. I still play 5e. In my personal life, I play the game. I run a weekly game in 5e. It's a lot of fun. I like the system. It's a good system. I've liked it for years. And I can play with the materials that I've already bought without giving Wizards or Hasbro any more of my money. But as a platform, as D20 Tales, we have a big responsibility to what we put out in the world. Not just to you, our existing community members, but to any future people who come and watch our content. Especially people who are new to the space, who come in in the future, don't know all of the things that have previously happened, who don't know the scummy things that Hasbro and Wizards of the Coast have been doing with the OGL situation. We stand behind creators. We are some of the creators. We stand behind you, the community. Um, and I just can't in good conscience, even if it costs us something, but maybe I guess that's the price of doing the right thing, not to point any fingers at anyone else who makes any other choices. I don't know what kind of situation they're in. But for us, we got to do what we believe is right. we got to stand by our principles. And if that costs us not having as much search engine optimization or like a broader audience because we're playing Pathfinder, okay, that's the price of standing by our principles. I'll pay it. I don't know. Maybe we'll be more popular switching. Who the fuck knows? <sighs> but what I do know is that I can stand by my principles. So, season two will be in Pathfinder. So enjoy the rest of season one. Take care of yourselves. And hopefully you stick around to see season two. It's going to be crazy. We have some very exciting announcements for it and some pretty interesting, unique things we're doing. Um, not that interesting, unique, not anything we invented, just, you know, new stuff for us. But thank you so much for all of your support and everyone who's taken us this far. And see you on the other side. Chaos awaits you in the dark. Coming up on Plane Striders. You cannot fight this. Fuck you, I don't gotta listen to you. Why am I talking to you? Went up. Fuck. Can I keep this <laughs> on the boat? And leveling many of the buildings of the town beneath. Whole fracture. 